Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it is probably the earliest that I have gotten up on this whole trip, if I'm being honest. It's 6.40 right now, and I am coming up to a beautiful vista of Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Can you guys see that? <laughs> the back of the cathedral is the meeting place of where I am meeting my tour today to go to Rila Lake's incredible hiking area. It's actually been a pretty crazy week where originally I was supposed to go see the monastery and the lakes, but one of many things that went wrong this week, uh, that tour got cancelled, and today, the only day I have to go on the tour, now they only have just the Rila Lakes tour. So I guess that gives me a reason to come back to Bulgaria, one of many reasons. <laughs> but if you guys come to Bulgaria, for sure, uh, make sure you come to both the Rila Lakes and the monastery and check out this amazing cathedral because what um but yeah i think my tour is already here so i gotta go hopefully i sleep on the bus <laughs> I'm not doing too great right now, guys. <laughs> I don't know if it's just the lack of sleep. I think I got four or five hours, but I am like chugging this coffee because I am just exhausted. So here we are, guys. We are in the beautiful Rila Lakes area. Rila Lakes is said to be the most visited nature attraction in Bulgaria. Uh, it is also really convenient that it is close to the monastery, but in and of itself, Rila Lakes is supposed to be absolutely stunning. The only thing that I'm slightly concerned about is that I can see snow <laughs> on the top of the mountain, and I heard that at the seventh lake, you have to kind of watch your step, um, not only because it's rough terrain, but because some of the snow can be a little bit deep. And because I have sneakers on, <laughs> that wouldn't be ideal. <laughs> I've really been trying to downgrade the amount of clothes and items I have, so I only have one pair of shoes, and it's these sneakers. <laughs> So hopefully the snow won't be too deep. Well, you guys, I am in complete awe of this beauty. Like, look at this. Is that not absolutely stunning? I really like this kind of nature where you get a blend. You get a blend of mountains, some glittering lakes, beautiful wide open spaces as well here climbing on top. I really think the nature in Bulgaria is uh, greatly underrated because 
for a European country, they're actually quite large and have a very diverse sort of landscape. So if you're somebody who really enjoys hiking and just being out in the great outdoors, Bulgaria. <laughs> Come to Bulgaria, <laughs> who would have known? Another quick thing that I wanted to mention, uh, if any of you are actually planning on doing this trip, is that it's really up to you whether you want to rent a car, spend a bit of a longer time in the area. That's originally what I was going to do. Just because I've kind of had some things come up and some time constraints, I figured it would be easier to just get a transfer here, which only costs like $35, so technically even less expensive than renting a car and gas and all the trouble of going through with that. So if you're looking for a fantastic day trip from Sofia, my God, <laughs> this is it. So I'm not 100% certain because my Google Maps just gave out, but I'm pretty sure that this last stretch is uh, where the lookout point is going to be. And I really hope that I'm going to be able to make it within an hour because I will still have basically an hour and a half as a minimum to hike all the way back, probably closer to two hours. So uh, I really hope I can hike this next part quite quickly and see the amazing view of the Seven Lakes. The uh, main path is a little bit muddy, so I'm kind of trying to go on the grass, but it is steep. <laughs> it is steep. Another little tip that I have for you guys is to make sure you pack some kind of lunch before you head out here because there are no restaurants or washrooms, <laughs> keep in mind, uh, once you leave the chairlift in that little hut. So once I get to the top, I'm probably gonna have a little bit of my lunch and just take a little break, but just make sure you're prepared for at least a three to four hour hike if you're planning on going to the top. So I just realized that I made a mistake. Very unfortunate one at that. The viewpoint is over there. I saw people going up here thinking I'd follow the crowd. There's not really many signs <laughs> telling you uh, where to go in English. So I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> chose the wrong way, I guess. Though I mean, wrong way. It's 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 absolutely gorgeous. Can't complain. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know actually if I'm going to be able to um, get up there. Even though it's actually not that far away in time before I have to head back. So that's a little unfortunate. Then again, I do have my drone with me. So maybe there's actually a way that I could fly it high enough to 
give you the approximate view of what it would be from the very highest viewpoint. And like I said, I'm not complaining because this is just beyond gorgeous. So you know what, friends? I'm not even that mad about not reaching the top today because the view that I had from that lake, I guess it's the sixth lake, was so incredible. The drone got some amazing shots. And I think this is a good analogy for life where it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. <laughs> it's about 12.30 right now, so I'm gonna start heading back down but the one thing that i'm wondering is if i can actually take these lower sort of trails also back to the chairlift the whole issue with this area is that the trails aren't actually coming up on google maps at all so it's like i have no idea what leads where and the signage really isn't that great uh, at least for english speakers so i'm just taking guesses of how long things take i know if i go back the way i came it's going to take about two hours but somehow looking at it from the top here i feel like it might actually be faster to go on the lower part and i see some people doing that so hopefully <laughs> my intuition is correct about uh doing that and we get back to the chairlift on time. <laughs> Well, this worked out pretty well, actually. It looks like there is a full loop that uh, goes to the chairlift. So I'm now taking the lower path, which goes closer to the lakes and I get a new view. But I actually just wanted to close off this video uh, while I'm hiking in this beautiful nature because this is going to be my last video in Bulgaria, most likely, uh, because I am heading out uh, to North Macedonia in a couple of days. It's so funny to reflect on when I first got here almost two months ago. <laughs> and I remember the border agent actually asked me, how long do you plan on staying in Bulgaria? And at the time I thought I'd stay maybe about a month, but to not have him ask more questions, I had said, you know, 20 days more or less. I am allowed to be in here for a full three months, but <laughs> here we are two months later and I feel like I could easily stay here another month because there are still so many things that I didn't get to see and do. I really wasn't expecting to love this country this much and I really hope that that came across in my videos. I know so many people have actually already messaged me saying that they're now planning a trip to Bulgaria so that really warms my heart when you guys get inspired by my videos and uh, come here yourselves because it is a place that is just unforgettable. Like look at this, look at this right behind me. So I am just so grateful that I decided to come to this country. Thank you so much to all the locals who sent me suggestions of things to see and do here. I have felt so welcome. We'll definitely be back, but uh, the time has come to keep moving forward and I'm excited to see what North Macedonia has in store because that's another place we never hear much about in Canada and the States. So thank you guys so much for uh, supporting my channel, for tuning in every week. I'm gonna have so much more amazing content to come, but until then, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Keep being your own kind of beautiful, and I will see you soon. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.